Hi guys. Today I wanted to show you guys how you can improve your internet connect and ping in not only Counter Strike Global Offensive but in any game. But doing these simple things. Fix 1. Restart your modem and router. You should restart your modem and router especially when they haven't been switched off for a long time. Just give them some time to cool off and clear up the cache. Here's how to do it. Unplug both your router and modem. Wait at least 30 seconds to let the two machines cool down a bit. Plug the router and modem back in and wait until the indicator lights are back to their normal state. Now that your routers and modem have been restarted properly, you can launch CS, go again to see if the high ping issue remains. Fix 2. Verify integrity of game cache files. Log in Steam. Then, click Library. In your game list, right-click on Counter-Strike, Global Offensive and select Properties. Go to the Local Files tab. Then click Verify Integrity of Game Files. Wait for the validating process to complete. If there's anything wrong with your game cache files, it should help you out with that. Fix 3. Close Bandwidth Hogging Applications. On your keyboard, press the Windows logo key and R at the same time to invoke the Run dialog box. Type in Rissman and hit Enter. In the Resource Monitor window, click the Network tab and pay attention to the total column. In this way, you will get an intuitive understanding of what process is now taking up the most of your network resources. Right-click on the process that you want to disable and select End Process. If prompted for permission, click End Process. Repeat the steps above until you've closed all the bandwidth hogging programs. Fix 4. Update your device drivers. As reported by many players, their ping time in CS, GO has gone back to normal after they updated the device drivers. If you're not sure whether all your device drivers are up to date, you should check. You can do this in Windows Device Manager, one device at a time. But this takes a lot of time and patience, and if any of your drivers do happen to be out of date, you will need to manually update them, which is difficult and risky. If you don't have the time, patience or computer skills to update your device drivers manually, you can do it automatically with Driver Easy. Driver Easy will automatically recognize your system and find the correct drivers for it. You don't need to know exactly what system your computer is running, you don't need to risk downloading and installing the wrong driver. And you don't need to worry about making a mistake when installing. Driver Easy takes care of everything. Fix 5. Renew IP Address. Open Command Prompt as Administrator. In your command prompt window, enter the following command. Exit the command prompt window. Now check to see your ping time in CS, go. Fix 6, change DNS server. On your keyboard. Press the Windows logo key and R at the same time to open the Run dialog box. Type in Control Panel and press Enter. Expand View by and select Category. Then, click View Network Status and Tasks. In the next window, click Change Adapter Settings. Right-click on your network and select Properties. Double-click Internet Protocol version 4 to view its properties. In the pop-up window, select these two options, obtain an IP address automatically and use the following DNS server addresses. For the preferred DNS server, 
Enter 8.8.8.8 to replace the primary IP address. For the alternate DNS server, enter 8.8.4.4. Then click OK. Fix 7, Reset Network Throttling Index. On your keyboard, press the Windows logo key and R type in Regedit, and then click OK. In Registry Editor, go to the following path. In the right pane, right-click on an empty area and select new greater than to word value. Then, name it Network Throttling Index. Double-click on Network Throttling Index and set its value data to FFFFFFFF. Then, click OK. Fix 8. Disable Nagel Algorithm. Open command prompt as administrator. In the command prompt window, type ipconfig and press enter. Locate your network adapter and make a note of its IP4 address. Note that the PC above is connected to Ethernet, namely a wired network. If you're using Wi-Fi, you should note down the IP4 address under Wireless LAN Adapter Wi-Fi. Open Registry Editor. Go to the following path. In the left navigation pane, there's a list of registry keys under Interfaces. Open those keys one by one until you find the one that contains a registry value named DHCPIPADDRESS sharing the same data with your IP4 address. Once you've found the matched key, right-click on a blank area of that key and select New and select the word value. Then, name it CFAC Frequency. Double click on CFAC frequency and set its value data to 1. Then, click OK repeat to create two more values, then name them TCP NODELAY and TCP DELACKTICKS respectively. Set the value data of TCP NODELAY to 1 and TCP DELACKTICKS to 0. Fix 8. Reinstall the game. If by all means the fixes above didn't solve your problem, then you should reinstall CS, go and see if that makes a difference. The process is quite simple, just uninstall the game and then reinstall it from Steam. When everything's done, launch CS, go and check your ping time. In case it's still too high, there's one last fix you can try.